what's that? 20 quid. Uh, where'd you get that from? One of the boys at school gave it to me. One of the boys? What for? I did his history homework for him. What? I did his history homework and he gave me 20 quid for it. You can't do that. Well, I can. And I did. Chloe, if you get caught by the school doing that, you're going to get in serious trouble. Plus, you can't even do your own homework, let alone someone else's. Oh, Mum, it's fine. I'm not going to get caught. Famous last words. He's given me his maths homework to do tonight. So that's another 20 quid I'll get tomorrow. <sighs> Chloe, you need to be concentrating on your own revision. Your GCSE mock exams start next week. Honestly, Mum, I'll be fine. Anyway, I'm saving up to get acrylic nails. So this will pay for that. Slater! Got another 30 quid today. I'm up to 50 quid now. I'm not very happy with you, Chloe. I told you you shouldn't be doing this. Just another 20 and I'll have enough for my acrylic nails. You're going to get caught if you do it anymore. You're lucky you haven't already. Mum, I've told you, it's fine. I'm making good money out of this. I'm literally an entrepreneur. You're living in cuckoo land. I could make a living out of this. Do you know how ridiculous you sound? That's enough now. I don't want you doing it anymore. Oh, come on, Mum. It's easy money. No. Doing your classmates' homework and charging them for it is going to land you in serious trouble. Just one more time. I need that last 20 quid for my nails. You could get suspended. Or even worse, expelled. One last time, then I'll stop. I promise. I'm not happy. Please. I'm not getting involved. On your head be it. I've told you what I think. It's all for a good cause. Last time, I swear. Hello, Mrs Mills? Yes, who's calling? Alexa, off. Mrs Mills, it's Sandra calling from Ashwood School. I'm afraid it's not good news. Is Chloe okay? Chloe's absolutely fine. She just seems to have landed herself in a spot of bother. Spot of bother? Yes, Miss Trunchbull caught Chloe and another male pupil exchanging a very large sum of money. What? I'm afraid so. And neither of them are owning up to what the very large sum of money is for and how it made its way into school in the first place. How much is this large sum of money? It's £70. And if we don't find out the reason for this exchanging of monies, then we're going to have to issue them both with a three-day suspension until we do. It's Chloe's money. It is? Yes. She's been saving up her pocket money to get her nails done. She's got an appointment at the salon after school. I told her to come back after school and pick up the cash, but she's obviously taken it with her. Oh, I see. It's a large sum of money to have in school, Mrs Mills, and you are aware of our policy against nail art? Yes, I'm so sorry. I'll get her to come straight home from school and I'll have a word with her. I appreciate that, Mrs Mills. Chloe's coming to see me at the end of the day, so I'll keep hold of her money until then. Thank you, Sandra. <sighs> what would she do without me? <laughs> Hi, Sandra. You wanted me to come and see you? It's Mrs Blunt. To you, Chloe. Sure. Yeah, Mrs Blunt. So I've spoken to your mum. She has, in fact, confirmed that the money belongs to you. And she's also told me how you came to have it. I won't do it again. It was just easy money and I really wanted to get my nails done. Easy money? You know, doing the homework thing. Homework? Doing the homework and getting paid for it. What are you talking about, Chloe? Oh, um, you know, my mum was paying me to do my homework as a good incentive, you know, with all the, uh, with all the exams and stuff this week. Right. Okay, well, your mum told me a different version of events to yours, so I think I'll stick with hers for now. Sorry, miss. I suggest you won't do it again. No, no, I won't do it again. Your money's in the envelope. Thank you, Mrs. Carr. Blunt. Mum, what did you say to the school? Whoa, 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 slow down. Did you get your money back? Yes. All thanks to me, saving your backside, again. Wait, what? You lied? Well, of course I lied. You think I'm going to tell Miss Blunt the truth? I thought you did. Oh, yeah, actually, Mrs Blunt, Chloe made that 70 quid by doing her classmates' homework and then charging them for it because I really want you to get suspended.
isn't it halfway through your mock exams? Don't I, Chloe? I think I put my foot in it. What do you mean? I think I've put my foot in it. Well, I thought you told the truth. Chloe? Well, I basically told the truth and said that I've been doing homework for money. What the hell is wrong with you, you silly girl? Well, no, Mum, it's fine because I made some blurb up about you paying me to do my homework. And I told her you were saving up your pocket money to get your nails done. Similar. You're a nightmare, Chloe. I'm not doing this for you again. All I want from you is to get from here to the end of your GCSEs without getting in any more trouble. Do you think you could do that for me? Yes, I can. Good. Give me the money. What? Money. Now. That's not fair. Life's not fair. Start making the right choices, Chloe. Off you go. you know what do you want i want my money back no it's my money now i earn that money fair and square doing homework for your classmates and charging them for it is fraud it's nothing like fraud it's pure genius oh whatever genius you're not having it now go away no i'm just gonna stay here and annoy you carry on and you'll lose your phone then stop acting like it. Go away. Oh. oh, Mum, someone's at the door. Looks important. You better get it. There's no one there. Oh, that's strange. Nice robins. Yeah, they're pretty, aren't they? trying to worm your way out of trouble. Oh, whatever, Mum. Who cares anyway? I'm nearly 16 years old. If I want to vape, I can vape. But I don't want to vape. That's why it's still sealed in the box. <laughs> Do you know what? I don't even care. What are you going through my bag for anyway without my consent? I was looking for the money you stole from me. I didn't steal it from you. It's mine. You stole it from me. I'm only taking back what's mine. <laughs> money. Keep the vape. This is the last time I bail you out of trouble. You're on your own now, Chloe. I don't vape. Just my luck. One more part to film, like three words, and then the heavens open. Ah! Then stop acting. Packed in. Go away, come again another day. It always stops play. I stood it for 20 minutes, 20 minutes ago, waiting for the rain to stop. Urgh. 